Sup, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So, let's bring you guys an update on the uh, potential fight between the Pac Man, Manny Pacquiao, Senator Pacquiao, and King Rai, Ryan Garcia. As you guys can tell by the title, it looks like we might be seeing this fight in either April or May. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, so yeah, on uh, the uh, ESPN, Mexican ESPN, uh, they recently posted up an article that headline reads, Between April and May, the likely Pacquiao-Ryan Garcia duel. By the way, this, this actually, this article is originally in Spanish and I just translated it. I just clicked translate right there, translate to English. So the, the grammar is not 100% correct. But anyway, uh, basically expect this fight possibly in May or April. Um, according to the article, uh, the, the lawyer of Garcia, lawyer and manager Guadalupe Valencia, spoke with ESPN Knockout, the show, and uh, he stated in the show that uh, we might be seeing this fight on April 24 or May 1. Uh, original talks were apparently talking about September. Those were the rumors uh, that we had to wait till September for this fight, but uh, they are false. Uh, we might see this fight earlier than expected april 24 and may 1 which is not bad in my opinion you know the sooner the better in my opinion i want to see Pacquiao back back inside the ring and obviously i would love to see ryan garcia back inside the ring as well um and i just oh my gosh i just truly hope this is a real fight that's all i'm hoping for because right now it looks like what they're currently discussing is talking about the weight and uh, whether this fight will be an exhibition or not it better, oh my gosh, it better not be an exhibition. If this fight's an exhibition, that, that would be a huge disappointment. Uh, it would be a huge disappointment if it, it's an exhibition. It needs to be a real fight, whether at 147 pounds or a catch weight at 147 with a belt on the line or at 140 pounds. A lot of people don't like the idea that Pacquiao is still a champion, uh, that he still holds a WBA title, that he's apparently holding the WBA title hostage. Um, but at, at the same time, like, it doesn't really matter because the two best welterweights at the moment, Spence and Crawford, are not fighting each other. Those, like, a lot of people would rather see Pacquiao fight Spence and Crawford over Ryan Garcia. Pacquiao deserves to, to fight whoever he wants. Pacquiao is at that point in his career where he can fight whoever he wants, uh, whether it's Crawford, Spence, or Ryan Garcia without any question he he's, he deserves it he's achieved great things in the sport if he wants to fight ryan garcia go for ryan garcia but it better be a fucking real fight excuse me language but it better be a real fight not an exhibition exhibition would be bullshit but but right now i don't mind pacquiao holding the wba title because spence and crawford needs to fight those two need to fight each other and then Pacquiao can fight the winner of that fight or something for undisputed status. Because right now we have three world champions. Three world champions in the welterweight division. Pacquiao holds the WBA. Crawford holds the WBO. And Spence holds the IBF and WBC. Spence and Crawford seems like they'd rather fight Pacquiao over each other. They, they shouldn't be waiting on Pacquiao. They, they should just be fighting each other. And Pacquiao can fight the winner of that fight. Or... You know, the winner of that fight, or Pacquiao will vacate the title eventually. Or if he loses his fight against Ryan Garcia, he'll probably retire. If he loses, that's a big if. So, so yeah, I just, instead of hating on Pacquiao for holding that WBA title, hate on Terrence and, and uh, Spence for not fighting each other. They should be fighting each other. And Pacquiao can fight Ryan Garcia if he wants. And please be a real fight. That's all I'm hoping for. So I'm hoping it's for the April date. You know, April 24. The sooner the better, in my opinion. Um, you know, I, I truly think this fight will be a big fight. Uh, it will, I don't know why people are even complaining about this fight being pay-per-view. Chances are it won't be on pay-per-view. Chances are it will be on The Zone live for free on The Zone. If, you have, if, you have, if you're already subscribed to The Zone. 
by the way, it's $100 for the whole year, which is very worth it, $20 a month. So when you think about it, spending $100 for the whole year, it's uh, very worth it in my opinion. So, so subscribe to this zone if you haven't yet. But who knows? Maybe they might... Uh, oh, oh, by the way, it seems like the zone, the way it seems like they're doing, they're making it available on pay-per-view to those people who, who doesn't want to pay $100 to pay the subscription for the zone. If you had to choose between a $70 pay-per-view price over a $100 yearly subscription, the $100 is very worth it if you're a boxing fan like myself, in my opinion. But there are apparently people out there who would rather pay $70 just to buy the event itself, just for that event. But anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on the fight. Let's all hope it's a real fight. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.